welcome back to my channel. Today, I am gonna be taking you through a delicious, and I mean delicious, pork belly recipe. It's a braised, a bourbon braised pork belly. Bourbon braised belly, oh yeah. So, I'm gonna take you through this amazing, easy, restaurant quality meal that can be done at home, no problem. <sighs> it's amazing, it's so good. All right, let's round up the ingredients. So obviously we need to get a big slab of pork belly, two pounds with skin on, one stick of unsalted butter, salt for seasoning, a tablespoon of fennel seeds, and a tablespoon of chili flakes, four to six cloves, and four to six green cardamom pods, a small bunch of thyme, three to four bay leaves, these can be fresh or dried, a quarter cup of your favorite bourbon, two brown onions, one liter of chicken broth or about a quart of chicken broth, and then water that you'll be putting into your kettle later on to reconstitute the broth in the oven. Preheat your oven to 180C or 350 Fahrenheit, and make sure the rack is in the middle placement of the oven. The first thing I do is I score the top of the pork belly, and I wanna do it in two ways. I wanna do it vertical, and then I wanna go like 45 degree angles to make these nice little diamond shapes. Use a sharp knife, so important. The skin on a, a pork belly is tough, and if you have a dull knife, you're gonna risk yourself of getting injured, so sharpen your knife. Get that steel, do a little and you should be good to go. <laughs> so score that baby, and then we're gonna put a ton of salt in those crevices. It's gonna just pull some of that extra liquid out. It's gonna make for a very crispy skin in the oven later on. Okay, so we're gonna put that aside. Over there. Let it just chill, it's okay. It's, if you can put it in the fridge if you want, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna be cutting up some onions. We're gonna do two medium-sized onions, and we're gonna throw in our spices. We have fennel seeds, red pepper flakes, cloves and green cardamom pods. So you're gonna take your butter, throw it into your pan. That same pan is what we're gonna be putting everything into the oven. So use your oven safe pan. We throw in the butter, throw in those onions, saute over medium heat um, until your onions are nice and clear. It's gonna smell amazing. Those spices are just gonna make your whole house smell divine. Okay, so once your onions are nicely clear, clarified, I guess you would call it, not, we're not caramelizing the onions. We don't want, really want any darker color. We just want a nice, soft saute from these onions. So we're gonna scoot the onions into like an outer ring and clear the middle of the pan. So scoot, 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 scoot. Yeah, and then we're going to um, put the pork belly skin side down directly onto the pan. It's gonna sizzle, it's gonna sear off that skin, start getting that crackling going. Oh, if y'all have never had pork crackling, you are in for a treat. So we're just gonna sear it off about a minute on that side, and that's it. And then we're gonna take, once it's nice and crispy and golden to your liking, we are going to take this pork belly out of the pan, and then it's time for the bourbon. So we're going to flambe. Turn off your flame, you have a lighter in hand, and we're gonna act quick. <laughs> you have your lighter in one hand, and you have your bourbon in the other. Pour the bourbon into the pan, light it real quick. I got a big flame. It was a bit bigger than I anticipated. But this is gonna make some delicious, delicious flavors. It's gonna kind of singe part of the onion, singe part of the cardamom pop. Oh, it smells so Good. So once the flame subsides, we're gonna put the pork back in, skin side up. And this is how it's gonna bake in the oven. We want skin side up so that we can get that crispy, crispy skin. At that moment, you also wanna add your fresh herbs. So we have some fresh thyme and some fresh bay leaves. And then we're gonna take our chicken broth and pour along the sides of the pork belly. It depends on your pan size and it depends on the size of your pork belly how much chicken broth you pour in. So you want it to be just under the level of where the skin is. Maybe give it like a, maybe a centimeter. Sprinkle the reserve peppercorn and fennel seeds on top of the skin before putting it into the oven. And we want to bring that up to the boil. 
So you wanna put it into the preheated oven with the liquid boiling. You want that chicken broth boiling before you put it in the oven because it will not come up to the proper temperature. So we wanna boil that up, bring it to temperature, and then put it in the oven. And then it's going to do its magic. And then we wait. We cook it for two hours. Check it though at the halfway point. Check it after one hour because that liquid will reduce in the pan. You take the kettle with your hot boiling water. Pour your boiling hot water along the edges of the pork belly. And that will just, you know, keep it going, keeping it juicy, keeping it lively. The pork belly is done. We have nice and crispy and crunchy. You can run your tongs or a knife or whatever on top of the skin and it should be that It's gonna be nice and juicy and moist underneath. So we have the really dry crispy on top and the most unctuous and juicy meat underneath. slice of it on a bed of greens with a little bit of olive oil, lemon, salt, and pepper, but we can prepare it in a couple of different ways, like a chipotle bowl, carnita style with a mole sauce, also a Thai lettuce cups, Pad Thai style with the pork belly. <sighs> but guys, this pork belly, it's glorious. Like I said guys, this is a restaurant quality meat dinner dish style recipe that you can easily do at home, and it is 100% keto, so this will help you with your weight loss journey if you are following the keto diet. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. I love you, and until next time, 